Hey everyone, welcome back to Camp Keyframe. And this is a follow-up video to the previous one where we started creating this animation. And in this video, I'm gonna, just gonna show you how I um, completed the, the whole thing. Okay, enjoy. So right click, create shape. I'm going, I'm going to do this a bit fast. So if you don't follow along, you can just pause it in between and reverse it. Um, yeah, open it up. Add a trim paths. Where is it? Yep. And I have these group one and group two. What's that? What's this? What's this? What's this? All right. Hold up. Group one, group two. What's this? Okay. Group two. Be gone. Is it the same around here? All right. I know what this is. I don't know what this is, but I. It's just some little glitch the Illustrator does, I think, or After Effects does. That sometimes, yeah, like that. I saw them with with these ones too. I just ignored them, <laughs> which you should never do. Where is it? Line one, two, and three. Yeah, there you go. I saw these little lines here, little blue thingies. Looks kind of cool in this case because it looks technologically correct or something looks cool but I don't want it so let's delete group two here and there um, oh, and here all right so that's taken care of yeah <coughs> sorry okay where was I yeah on these ones uh, these ones yeah let's lock these lock these uh, line six. Yeah, I added a trim pass already. Yep. So I'm gonna end point. I'm gonna grow from zero. And I'm gonna use a Flow for this right now. So Flow is a free, of a, not, it's a, pay, a paid plugin, and I can click on these all these different kind of eases, and I go for exponential, and I select these keyframes, hit apply, and then it applied this um, easing for me. Now that's a bit too too harsh so let's make it more gentle select them again hit apply and now you can see that it's a bit more gentle so I'm gonna copy these paste them to all these lines command V uh, press U and then option uh, bracket in yes a bit faster maybe oh, select them all drag them in and then we're gonna just place the layers on different times and then it will not too much mm -hmm. yeah cool okay and i'm what i'm gonna do right now what i forgot earlier is to group this all together so uh, right click to go to pre-compose or hit command shift C on your keyboard and I'm gonna, I'm gonna call this um, text lines bottom right okay um, hit the rasterize button and I'm gonna lock them so now I can't I can't touch these anymore and we'll go back to my circle and my frame all those ones yeah and going to pre-compose them i'm going to top box oh time box to top box thank you okay lock it as well so now my timeline gets a bit more cleaned up um now i'm gonna go these ones all right so i'm gonna press command v to paste the same uh trim pass effect no i do not on oh, no doesn't work oh because it's not a it's still an illustrator layer so right click create shapes and delete these layers now I can hope oh, I can select them all press command V open them up with U, and I have all my keyframes again all right nice Ah. 
There's annoying things again. Why? I have no idea. This is turning out to be a really long... All oh, right, outline two. I won, there you go. This is gonna be a really long tutorial right now, but I'm sorry. You get the idea of it. If you if you're done with me by now, I won't I won't sue you. Okay, and then this one we also want to give this one an offset. Uh huh. My offset uh, numbers are just random. Hit apply as well. Yeah. Okay. Again, another little tip, if I, because the offset thing is not, it's not how I, it's not following the line. So what I can do is I can um, I can do it like this. Wait, 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 delete all this. It grows to the left and then up. And if my offset goes to the right, yeah, okay, so I'm gonna offset this at 0% and then go up, so now it should work properly, yeah. Because if I do it in reverse, so I s let's, like, let's say I start at 0 and then I go back, it, it moves the other way, which can also create a nice effect maybe, mm, yeah, no, that's not cool. We just wanna go, it, f make it follow it. Make it follow the line. Uh, sorry, it hit apply for my flow. Flow is awesome. I highly suggest you buy the plugin flow. Okay, cool. That little box is done maybe a bit earlier. Okay. Precompose them to um, Text box, middle. And I did for forget to click this one. Let's put them on the bottom where I don't need them anymore. Right there. Uh, and I have this frame, play button, line, and circle. All right, I'm gonna do the same thing. Oh, the circle is actually a circle with a black uh, fill. So I'm just going to scale that up and not use uh, trim path, so I don't have to convert it to a shape layer. But these ones I do. Yep. And a quick little tip is if I have this play button and I open it up and I go to group one now it's uh it grows from this point to the bottom up and to right again and if i want to reverse that order i can click this little button which reverses your beginning or ending point so now it goes upwards which is great this thing again goodbye Give this one some offset. I'm just I'm just doing the the same thing over and over again. Sorry. Yep. Okay. Nice. Looking cool already. Come copy this offset to the play button. Open it up with you. And drag them in. Uh, it's not doing anything, all right. Maybe the copying doesn't work. Let's just uh, do it manually. Hello? No offset? What's this? Trim paths. Oh, trim paths one and two. Oh, wait, delete that. I actually copied the whole trim paths effect. That's not right. Yeah, 
This is okay. So let's hit an offset keyframe. Awesome. Apply. Great, and then this I'm going to scale up. Scale from 0 to 100. I can do it faster. And then also give it a position. So I have Shift and P to open the position next to the scale. And I'm going to like slide it in while it grows. While it grows out, while it scales. Okay. That's a bit. All right, maybe a bit. It's too fast. Yeah. You okay? What's this? All right, drag it in a bit so we don't see the beginning. Nice, okay. Press U again to close it up. Uh, I have these circle and the frame outlines. Yeah, I'm gonna comp them together, pre compose to video frame. Uh, okay, put it here, and I have these three dots, and I'm gonna. I'm gonna um, position them. Let's just finish this whole animation. And I'm gonna slide them in. And I'm gonna give this exponentially. Yeah, and then I'm gonna do the pink one first, then this one. Just I just offset them two frames. And then I'm gonna cut them right here somewhere oh nice all right uh dots so pre-composing everything really keeps your layers tidy your your layer layer your timeline tidy and all right that's about it now i need to time this right so i have this browser let's unlock this and the shadow i have this browser window and while the browser window is going i want everything to grow to start moving in as well the dots let's leave them for later i'm just gonna ooh funky looks really cool i'm gonna also going to animate the shadow and the shadow is just this little shape and i want it to come from behind i want it to animate like this but then i can see it so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna position this Put a position keyframe for the for the ending point, for the end point, and then I'm gonna move it from where it needs to come from. But then, and I'm gonna easy that, but not so fast. All right. So I'm gonna just create a mask myself. So I'm now I'm just creating a shape layer because all right so just make it dirty blah, 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 blah. Um, no stroke and uh, red fill so now this shape is my gonna be my mask and I'm putting it above the shadow I'm gonna go to track mat alpha mat there you go all right and I'm gonna it's behind the browser yeah so that works great so I'm gonna cut these in and I'm gonna position them like over here or something yeah nice all right so I think that's it that's the whole animation looks kind of cool and what I want to do now for some extra niceness is to group everything together again except for the background so select everything 
Um, no, I don't want to do that. Sorry, I want to create another layer. Um, Command Alt Shift Y, or that's the longest shortcut ever. Go to Layer New Null Object. This is just an empty object, and I can select all these layers and um, parent them to the null. So now, if I control the null, oh, whoops, uh, everything is controlled with that. So I'm gonna while this thing animates in i'm going to scale it up a bit so i'm going to scale it from to 100 i'm going to make it like maybe 80 or something give that a nice ease maybe uh it's a less harsh Yeah, cool, for an extra little effect. Um, one extra effect I forgot to mention, which, which is cool. Uh, if I duplicate the browser outlines and I place them a bit earlier in the timeline and I'm going to change the color to a stroke color to like this, maybe this uh, pink color. And oh, then I just, I, f I first get this pink line growing out and then the white line above it, which makes it even more cool looking. I, I can do this with all with with everything, of course. So let's say uh, let's go to the um, uh, text box middle. Let's turn off this, and I go to these uh, lines and I duplicate them and put them at the bottom. Just give them another color and. If I, yeah, okay, so I have this and uh, these two, they are white and I'm gonna make them pink and these pink ones are going to be white. Wow, extra possess. And maybe also with these ones and I'm gonna Duplicate them, put them on the bottom and drag them to the right. Um, I'm gonna make those purple. Like this, yep. So these also get this extra effect. Nice, all right. Looking cool. Yeah, that's a great end result. Okay, thanks everyone for watching. Uh, I'm sorry it was it was such a long one, uh, but thanks for sticking around, and I hope to see you on the next one. Bye bye.